Today, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Apple VR headset. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as an Apple VR headset expert. Let's get started. So as you can see, this box is large and it's incredible. It fits across the entire desk that we have here. It says Apple Vision Pro. And I think this is the first time that I have ever seen an Apple logo in, the, in place of the Apple Vision Pro. Typically it's written out Apple Vision Pro, but we have the Apple logo next to it and it looks great. We've got this orange uh, pill tab at the very bottom right here. And then on the side, it's just white. On the other side, it has the name and another orange pill tab at the very bottom, and then nothing here on the top. And you can see the lovely design of the Apple Vision Pro, the very front of the headset with it turned off. That's the box. So let's go ahead and dive into this for the very first time and set it up. So here at the very bottom, we've got our first pull strap. We can go ahead and peel this off. Comes off like that. And on the other side, we have another pill strap. This little orange tab at the very bottom. We'll go ahead and peel that off. And now we can go ahead and open the box. Lifts up just like that. And we're presented with our Apple Vision Pro. So it's already attached with our face seal. Um, and we've got this lovely band here. And it looks beautiful. So we've got a lot of protective paper and covers around it. I'm just going to give you a 360 tour there of the Apple Vision Pro. You can see how lovely it looks. First time ever seeing it in person and my first time being able to take it out and play with it. So we'll go ahead and lift it up just like that. I'm going to set it to the side and we'll take a look at all of the accessories that are in the box first. So you lift up. This whole component comes off just like that. And inside we've got two components. One says designed by Apple in California and one says Apple Vision Pro. So let's go ahead and peel up the designed by Apple in California first. We've got a polishing cloth so we can peel this off. We've got some paper that has some regulatory information on it. We've got a polishing cloth. This cloth is nice. It's included in the box. You can peel it off just like that. And it even has the Apple Vision Pro printed on it that you can see right there. Apple Vision Pro. So perfect for cleaning your lenses and the eyesight display. So that's what we have there, designed by Apple in California. And a nice little container. Next up is the light, light sill cushion. So you can see that here. We can peel this off and pick it up. And it has a few pointers here. Uh, we can go ahead and take it off just like that. We've got one on each end. You just pull, pull it out. And then you can pull, oh, they've got another component. So it looks like we're gonna have to take the top strap off and undo it completely. And then we can pull it out. So it says use the light seal cushion if prompted by the system or if you need more room for better fit. So we can pull it out just like that. So. If the system prompts you to put this on, you can put this on, um, or if you need a better fit. So we'll go ahead and put this to the side. And then next up in the box is the Apple Vision Pro itself. Um, we can see that tab, we pull it off, and we've got another Apple Vision Pro. This is a booklet, so Wow, you can see how beautiful this booklet is. It's kind of like a quick start guide. It tells you what's in the box. It names everything for you. If you have any questions, it tells you a tour. So you can see all the different buttons and dials and different things on the Apple Vision Pro. A getting started guide, what to do. So a very detailed booklet um, right here of how to position it, how to set up your Vision Pro and what to do. Um, so if you ever need help, all you have to do is check out this lovely booklet. This is very thick. It has a lot of pages in it and it's very detailed. So that's cool that they included this Apple Vision Pro booklet um, to get you started. Next up in the box is the dual loop band. So we can pull it out just like this. We can undo the component here and it has some instructions for us. Um, this is the medium size 
it comes with a dual loop band so this is the second option if you want to be more secure and it has a strap on the top of it in addition to the strap on the back of it so we can pull it out and you can see what that looks like here so this is the dual loop band um, and so we can use the dual loop to connect on the top and on the bottom or back so really cool that we have this band included right in the box. So we'll put that to the side. And last but not least, we've got the charging brick. They include a USB-C adapter, and for us, a USB-C cable, and the battery, and the connector. So that's everything that's inside the box for us to get started here on our Vision Pro journey. We can go ahead and take off the different receptors here for the Apple Vision Pro and just rip off the cables and it allows us to connect. There we go. Um, so we've got this proprietary connector right here that connects on to the side of the Vision Pro to power the, the Apple Vision Pro. This is the Apple Vision Pro battery pack. We can go ahead and undo it just like this. And it ripped off, but we can peel it off just like that. And this thing has some weight to it. Um, it has a USB-C cable for you to charge, or USB-C port for you to charge it with the included USB cable. So you put this in your pocket or you strap it onto you using an, access, an, an accessory. And then you connect this to your Apple Vision Pro to power it. So last but not least, we've got the USB-C cable that's included. We can go ahead and undo these straps for these. So USB-C to USB-C, you plug one end into the brick. We can undo the power brick right here. So you plug one end into this brick, and then the other end into the battery. And this allows you to charge the Apple Vision Pro. And then from here, you connect this onto the side of the Apple Vision Pro. But we're gonna have to unpackage it because there's some protective covering here also on our Apple Vision Pro. So I'm gonna set the cable over here to the side and we will return to the battery pack. I'm gonna clean up the station a little bit. So let's take a look at the Apple Vision Pro. This is our first time using it. It's got some connectors here, some coverings. So I'll go ahead and peel that cover off. This is where we plug up our charger. So our battery pack connects to this, this section right here. And all we have to do is They've got these little dot components to let you know the status of it. So when you put it in, you insert it next to the dot that's blank, and then you twist it to the dot that is solid. And then we can go ahead and take off this covering here for the band. So this is our, our band, it's a nice material. We can see there's a light on this that lets, lets us know that there is power. And then we can also see that there is a dial on the other end to tighten the band. We twist left and right to tighten this band right here. We've got our speakers, our spatial audio speakers on the left and right. And then we've got this lovely cover right here that we can take off and see the display. And look at that, you can see me in it, the reflection. It is gorgeous. So this is the Apple Vision Pro. It has eyesight enabled, eyesight. Um, and yeah, you can see the power, the uh, digital crown here. This of course looks like the, the power button and you'll be able to use it for various different things. Um, so let's take a look at getting this set up for the very first time. I'm gonna go ahead and take the power cable and put it to the side. I'm gonna take the battery pack. I'm gonna put the battery pack in my pocket. And actually, before I can get set up with this, I have to unbox one more thing. And there's a specific way to connect these. So Apple Vision Pro, they've got another orange peel seal here. We can just peel this off. And now I can open them up. Precision Optics by Apple and Zeiss. So they're inside and it looks like Let's see, I'm gonna have to pull it out like that. So Apple Vision Pro Zeiss, I can lift this up and it's got the 
Apple Vision Pro, my engraving and an app clip to get started. Place the Zeiss optical inserts over the displays. They will snap magnetically when properly positioned. And then when propped it, scan the QR, or the, it just says code, but it's an app clip. Looks like a QR code. On, um, and this pairs your lenses to the Apple Vision Pro. So the system may prompt you to switch to a light seal cushion provided with your Apple Vision Pro. So this is what the lenses look like. So in order for me to be able to put these on and properly see everything, um, since I do wear glasses, I will need to use these. But you can also see um, these, you can magnetically detach your light cushion and your various different options right here. Um, so we're gonna take this left, this left one right here, we're gonna pull it right out and we're gonna attach it magnetically to the lens and just goes off right there. So that was very easy to do. You just take the right one. It even includes which one is on the right there. You can see it has an R. And then it also has my engraving on, on them somewhere. Let's see where the engraving. Okay, the engraving is, is very hard to see because it's black, but you can kind of see it there. The JH for my engraving. So we'll go ahead and put those right in. So now that I have properly inserted the optical inserts and we have plugged up the battery pack, we are good to go and put this on for the first time. So I'm gonna take off my glasses. We'll set my glasses down and we'll go ahead and put this on for the very first time. Press and hold the button to align. So I'm pressing and holding to align. We got a check mark and now an Apple logo. And I can see everything in the world. It went black, it gave me an Apple logo, and now I just see my desk. And a hello, I wish I could screen record this for you all. It's drawing the word hello, their classic hello, right onto my window. Look at your code to pair your optical inserts. So the optical inserts code is right here. I'll look at that. All right, so look at hands to set up. Look at the dot and tap your fingers together to select it. Align your entire face within the frame. Slowly turn your head to the right. Now, slowly turn your head to the left. Now tilt your head up. Then tilt your head down. Next, let's capture your facial expressions. Smile with your mouth closed. Then make a big smile with your teeth showing. Now raise your eyebrows. Close your eyes for a moment. Capture complete. Put Vision Pro back on to continue. Wow, the speakers are nice and loud. Here we have the Apple Vision Pro. We've got the solo knit band and the dual loop band, and we're gonna take a look at all the different components and how we connect them. They're magnetically attached together, and on the inside here, we've got a cover for the Apple Vision Pro. You just take it off like that. It protects the screen and the cameras in the very front of the device. And then here, you've got the power button, You've got the digital crown. You've got the light seal and the light seal cushion. These are also magnetically attached. You want to make sure when you pick up your Apple Vision Pro that you pick it up from the very front. Because if you pick it up with the light seal, which is right here, it will magnetically detach and then you will not actually pick up the Apple Vision Pro like that. The Apple Vision Pro will remain on the desk. So these are magnetically attached. You've got the light seal and then on top of that, the light seal cushion. So these just magnetically attach seamlessly to the device itself all you have to do is just set them on top and they magnetically attach just like that so let's take a look at if we were to install our new band over here all you have to do is just pull the orange straps on the side so we've got the solar net band attached right now this is what it looks like you can tighten it right here on the right you just twist it to the right and the material in here gets tighter you twist it to the left and it gets looser you can see it's nice premium material as it stretches and tightens itself um, so if we're going to go ahead and remove this solo knit 
Netban. Survey Junkie allows you to get paid by completing simple surveys. If you've ever wanted to make a little bit of extra money on the side, that's what Survey Junkie can help you do. They've got hundreds of surveys you can take for extra cash, and it's easy to sign up. Just go to appfind.org slash surveys to get access to the best surveys to earn cash and gift cards. Sign up today at appfind.org slash surveys to get started and make sure to confirm your email address to get access to the highest earning surveys in your inbox. And install the dual one that all we have to do is just pull this orange strap right here. So I'll get closer to the camera. You can see inside that there is an orange strap right there. All you have to do is just pull that and it will magnetically detach from the headset itself. You've got one on the other end right here. You can just pull it and it will magnetically detach just like that and you have successfully removed the solo net bed. Now we can install the dual loop band, which is right here. And what you'll want to take a look at is the orange tabs again. You can see that you've got an orange tab right here on the right side of the dual loop band and a tab orange tab on the left. You're going to magnetically attach these the same way that you pulled off the last band. So you'll come over to the Apple Vision Pro and you'll just simply install it by putting a little pressure into it and then it will magnetically attach to the device just like that. So you just attach a little pressure and it magnetically attaches just like that. And then we'll go to the other side here and we will do the same thing. So we will just apply a little pressure and it will magnetically attach just like that. So really cool that you can come in here and install your dual loop van. And in here you've got this new attachment at the top of your head to better hold the weight of the device. You can come over here and undo the Velcro, Velcro straps and tighten it up to your just it needs here you can pull it to make it loose or you can pull it the other way to make it tighter so you can undo the velcro and pull it based off how you need uh, for your head size and then there's one more velcro velcro strap in the back and you can adjust it to your needs as you need to so this makes it really easy to come in here and you know you've got two options for your vision pro to be able to adjust the tightness and of course, with the added strap on the top here with the dual loop band, um, you'll have extra, um, you know, um, coverage here on the weight when you are wearing this because it's covering the top of your head, your head in the back. So that's how you attach another band to your Apple Vision Pro. We can go over this process one more time as we reattach the solo knit band. All you have to do to detach these bands is just pull the orange uh, to the left and it will just magnetically detach just like that. I'll show you again on this other side. All you have to do to remove these bands is just pull and it detaches just like that. And here we've got our solo knit band right here. And this is probably, you know, the most popular one since it's default installed. But to, de to reattach it, all you have to do is just apply some pressure and it just attaches just like that inside of the device. Um, and then you can come over to the left side, apply some pressure and do the same thing here. And it will just reattach to the inside, just like that. And now we have successfully detached and reattached to multiple bands. And you can come over here again to resize it. You just turn this knob to the right and it gets tighter. You turn it to the left and it gets looser. So very simple band process is here and it's really neat that on the Apple Vision Pro that all of this is magnetic. You don't have to, you know, snap anything um, into, a, you know, a, a solid hole or a, um, a process there it just magnetically attaches when you put things over and it's very satisfying so it makes it really easy to connect various different things over here to your apple vision pro because you don't have to actually plug it into a, uh, a hole it has the magnetic grip as as soon as it detects the connection it magnetically attaches and it's very satisfying and very easy to connect so i like that they've actually made this magnetic we can take a look at the light cell cushion one more time you just pull that off so on the top here is the light sill cushion in my right hand. And then in my left hand is the, um, the light sill itself.
and you can see in here it also shows the size of the light seal and uh, what size of the light seal cushion we have. So these all just magnetically attach to the Apple Vision Pro. You can see the inside of the Apple Vision Pro there. We'll go ahead and just detach it just like that or reattach it just like that. So really cool that we can come in here and modify the various different sizes here in the Apple Vision Pro. And that's been a really um, quick tutorial there of how you change the multiple band sizes with the Apple Vision Pro. Now, you may be thinking, how do you use the Apple Vision Pro? The Apple Vision Pro has cameras and it uses eye tracking. So when you insert Apple Vision Pro, your face into it, and you put it on your face, it has cameras inside um, that can detect your eyes and where you're looking. And that's how it detects your cursor. Um, you can look around and then you can select using your hand because there are also cameras on the outside right around here. There's um, different camera sensors right here. So they can see your hands when they're in your lap. They can see your hands when you put them out in front of you because all these are cameras. They've got over a dozen cameras here, right here, that you can detect different hand motions. So they've got very simple motions, and I'm going to go through them right now. If you want to scroll, all you have to do is just pinch your fingers together and drag up or down. If you want to zoom in, you pinch both fingers in and, and drag them apart. If you want to zoom out, you do the opposite motion. If you want to click or tap, all you do is just take your fingers together and you tap them together just like that. And you can do it with your left hand or your right hand. It doesn't matter. You just look at something and you tap your fingers together just like that and you are tapping and clicking on something. And those are the very simple motions that you have on the Apple Vision Pro to control them. You drag up and down to scroll or to move things around and then you tap to click. Now you can also paste, copy and paste. If you want to copy and paste, all you have to do is, um, more specifically, if you copy something within an application and you want to paste it, you go to the text field and you hold your fingers together inside of that text field and the paste option will pop up. So very simple motions. And as you can see, you've probably already seen me in this video, just drag my fingers around and move them around. Uh, but those are the actions in order to move things around on your screen inside of Apple Vision Pro. So let's go ahead and dive right in and check out what it looks like inside of the Apple Vision Pro. This is Vision Pro. When you insert your eyes into Vision Pro, you present it with your surroundings. It fades away into the background, and I don't know how to describe it because it's pretty magical. When you put the headset on, all you see for a moment is just pitch black. And then it does a, a fade into reality where the cameras come through and it fades through and it looks incredible when you see your surroundings. So you can see I'm in my living room, I can see the couch, I can see this gigantic wall, and I have the apps currently available on the uh, you know, home screen here. I can press the digital crown button on the top right and the apps will fade away and I can see everything here. You can see the camera, you can see, you know, um, all the materials in the room. So it's really cool that they're focusing here on mixed reality and um, the ability to put things on top of your current surroundings. So it's really different compared to other headsets because the key focus is productivity and being able to mix the digital world with the physical world. So right now I have nothing up. I can use Siri to access, you know, a cool command. So I can say, hey Siri, what's the weather in New York? So in New York is currently cloudy at 37 degrees Fahrenheit. I can use my eyes to exit out just like that. And now, if you look at the very top, I'm going to access Control Center. You look up to access Control Center with your eyes. Now, you see a little arrow at the top. All I have to do is just tap my fingers together, and then Control Center comes down. You can see that I'm currently mirroring my, my living room setup right here. And you've got a few options here inside of Control Center. You can access all of your apps, so you just look at what you want, and you can see as I look at different icons here, they're selected. All I have to do is just move my head left and right, and I can move it around and select. In order to select, all you do is just tap your fingers together, your index and your thumb, one time. So if I want to access the home, all I have to do is just look at home, which I'm currently doing. You can see it's, it's hovering over it with that selection tool. 
and then I tap my index finger and my thumb together, it home pops up just like that. Now, if I want to access Control Center again, I have to move my eyes up. Now, I got really confused with accessing Control Center when I first got this because I was thinking that I needed to move my head up, but that is incorrect. You can move your head up and it doesn't always come down to show Control Center. You have to move your eyes up. So your eyes, you kind of have to roll your eyes a little bit at the very top of the screen, the arrow will drop down, and then you can press your index finger and your thumb together, and then it pops open just like that, and you have access to Control Center. The second option here in Control Center is Environments. You can tap on Environments, and um, you can see which environments we have here through the Digital Crown. So if I twist the Digital Crown to the right, I insert it into Environments. And now I'm no longer in my living room, I'm in an environment. So I can be in the light environment, and you can see I can look all around here um, in this lovely light environment with it looks like snow all around. I can go, it says white sand, so it's sand all around. And um, you can see I'm completely immersed in 360 degrees here of this new environment. I can go back to the dark environment, and now it's at nighttime, dark sand, um, because you know the sun's gone down and you can't really see anything. So that's the white sands dark environment or I can have it automatic where it will switch between light and dark depending on the time of the day. For me personally, I like both of these. Uh, I don't know which one to keep it on. I think primarily I like dark mode, but at the same time this light mode looks really good because you can see everything. Um, so let's go ahead and keep it on light for now. I can adjust the sound of it by looking at it, and uh, you can see my hands are in here. So all I have to do is just look at the sound and then drag while I pinch my index finger with my thumb just like that. So I just pinch and drag in order to select things. I can switch it over to dark. I can tap once and it will switch over just like that. So really cool that we're using you know our hands to play with the Vision Pro and it has cameras on it that can detect our hands and all we have to do is just tap once and there we go. Just index finger and our thumb together. I can use whichever hand whether I'm left-handed or right-handed and go to automatic and just like that and be inserted into a environment. So I'll go ahead and hit the X, I'll look at the X and then I'll tap once and it takes me out of that environment uh, or at least the settings for that environment. I'm still in the environment itself. If I want to dial back the environment, I can twist the digital crown on the top right of the headset to the left. And when I do this, you can see that the reality is starting to come back to normal. I'm in my living room a little bit. You can still see the camera. You can still see everything. I'm kind of in between because I only twisted the digital crown halfway. But if I reach to the top left, or no, the top right on the digital crown, and I continue to uh, wind it to the left here, you can see that the more I wind it, the less I see this environment and the more I see my space. If I want to see more environment, I just twist it back to the right. And you can see it immerses my space right, right around it with this environment. So really cool that you can immerse yourself in these environments and then you can um, always you know, go back to reality and have you know, a little bit of environment and a little bit of reality. Or you can just close out the environment by twisting the digital crown all the way to the left and now you no longer have any um, you know, environment going on. So these are cool, quick settings that are available right to you inside of Control Center. How do we access Control Center again? All you have to do is just look up and you see the arrow come down. So I'm going to look up and that opened up app. I'm going to close out the music app. I'm going to look up and I'm going to tap my fingers together and Control Center is back here. We can access things like the options inside of Control Center. Um, so here we have the Wi-Fi. I can come in here, see what Wi-Fi networks are nearby, uh, connect to various different ones. All you have to do is just look at it and hold it down. So we'll look at it just like this. Um, and then I'll be able to hold my fingers together. So let's see if I can get the, the additional settings to pop up for Wi-Fi. It doesn't look like they're popping up right now. So let's continue on. We've got Bluetooth. Bluetooth mode allowing us to connect to things like a keyboard or um, being able to connect to headphones, different accessories, just like that. You've got travel mode. I'm going to close out Control Center and try to reopen it one more time. So I'll look up 
access control center and let's see if I can there we go my tracking is much better so I'm able to access the Wi-Fi settings it, for some reason it was too far away from me and the eye tracking wasn't locking on to the Wi-Fi so you just look at what you want and you just hold your fingers together and, um, and then it allows you to get more information on that itself we can go down to Bluetooth mode you can see all of the various different Bluetooth devices that I have we can go into Bluetooth settings later on um, so there's lots of settings right here in Control Center. Check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, where you can get a $30 bonus today when you sign up using the link in the description, appfind.org slash Rakuten. You can shop at your favorite stores with over 3,500 stores to check out, and you install the plugin, create an account on Rakuten, and earn cash back today. It's really cool that you can come here and get paid to shop, and of course you can earn your $30 bonus today using the link in the description. This helps out the AppFind channel a lot, so check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, using the link appfind.org slash Rakuten. You've got travel mode, which allows this to work on a plane or in a car if you're a passenger, um, and it allows it to not you know, use spatial tracking so it doesn't get confused in mapping out where your, your items or your windows are inside of your environment. You've got airplane mode. We can go ahead and turn airplane mode off. Um, and then you can see nothing is playing right now, but if something was playing, it would be popping up right here. You've got the volume level uh, for your headset. So right now it's being airplayed to the Apple TV. I can look at it. If and I want to decrease the volume, I just put my fingers together while I'm looking at it and drag left and right just like this. And it makes it really easy to come in here and adjust the volume. Now at the very bottom here, you've got focus, so you can enter a do not disturb mode or a focus setting that you currently have. This eliminates all notifications and distractions. All you have to do to turn that on is just tap it, or you can hold down and go to any specific focus mode that you want. Do not disturb personal work, sleep, etc. I'll go ahead and turn that off for now, but all I have to do for all of this stuff is just look at it and select whichever option it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back button by looking at it and then tapping it. So next up is a guest mode. The Vision Pro is a single user experience only. When you log in, you sign in with things like your iCloud. So there is no way, it uses optic ID to scan your eyes and then detect whether to you or not. There's no way to really share this headset with a second person, even a family member. Um, even if you, you could theoretically give them your passcode, but it makes it really hard um, because they would have access to everything that's on your iPhone. So it's no way to really securely share this with a family member unless you enable guest mode. And when you enable guest mode, it allows you to select which apps they can open up and then you can share it with them within five minutes and they can access those apps. And then once they take the headset off, it secures your device one more time. So guess what is highly interesting? That's the only way right now to share your headset with someone. But if you buy a Vision Pro and expect to be able to share it with someone, um, it's not that easy to, and it only locks to your, your retina um, and your ability in your iCloud. So unless you have like a shared iCloud, it's not gonna be an easy uh, process in order to share your device, your Apple Vision Pro with someone for right now. Now this is a really cool feature here in the middle, the Mac virtual display. This is my, by far my most popular feature. I love using the Mac virtual display. All I do is just open up my Mac and connect to it with Envision Pro and everything shows up right here on the screen. I have a you know, hundredth screen of my Macintosh and it makes it really easy to get work done. I already know how to use my Mac. I already have my favorite apps on my Mac and all I have is just a bigger, better screen inside of Vision Pro to get stuff done. So really cool options that we have right here inside of Vision Pro. Next up is screen mirroring, which I'm currently doing with you right now. I'm sharing my experience in Vision Pro right here through an Apple TV with Mirror My View. So you can see everything that I see inside of Vision Pro right here on the screen, and it makes it really easy for us to you know, share this. If, you're, if you wanna share your experience with you know, your coworkers or friends or family, you can instantly stream up your view and they can see everything you see inside of Vision Pro on a, uh, you know, an Apple TV or AirPlay connected device. 
Next up is view recording. You can record these and then share the recordings with someone, um, you know, whether it's through messages or, um, you know, sharing it and, and saving it to your photo library and reviewing it later. But you can record your screen and then later come back to it um, and be able to use that recording for reference in the future. So really cool options that we have now. And then last but not least, we've got Spotlight. You can tap on Spotlight and you can search for anything. It uses you know, the web, your contacts, locations, um, and it allows you to come in here and search for anything, including applications. So if you want to search for Safari, this is the keyboard. I can come over here and type in Safari, and then it pops up Spotlight just like this. So really cool options that we've got right here inside of Vision Pro inside of the Control Center. I just exited out of that. And now in order to get back to Control Center to do one more overview, we'll look up, we'll get the arrow, we'll tap the arrow, and here we are inside of it. Um, so you can see here, um, you've got access to all the options into C Control Center. So let's take one more look at this. On the very far end, you've got Notification Center. You can see all your personal notifications, your messages, any app notifications that come in. Below that is this volume control right here, which is highly interesting. We can tap to drop it down. And you've got volume control of all of your applications and then volume controls of your, your calls things like FaceTime calls or Zoom calls. So those are the two different options that you have here. I'll get closer so you can see that. Um, and then you can look and adjust them just by dragging left and right here. So if you want your applications to be a little less, um, you can play them just you know a little less louder than your FaceTime call or your Zoom call. So you've got very specific volume controllers right here inside of Vision Pro. I hope this feature comes to the Mac. This is incredible that you can control the sound of various different applications and, and your, your uh, audio calls. So that is the control center options for Vision Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. Let's actually press this home button. When you press the home button, it takes you to all of your applications. So here we have all of our applications here, and I'm gonna go through a few of them so you can get a, a feel for what it looks like to use Vision Pro. Let's start off with the App Store because you're probably gonna to wanna to download your favorite apps as soon as you get your Vision Pro. All you have to do is just look at the App Store and tap it and it will open up right here in front of you. And now I can use the bottom bar right here. You can see there's an X if I look at the circle and then the bottom bar highlights if I look at that. I can click and hold my index finger and thumb together and drag this app store anywhere inside of Vision OS. I can put it on the ceiling here. I can put it right here in the wall. We've got this nice big wall in front of us. You can put it anywhere. And now we can take a look at some of the apps right here just by clicking and dragging the scroll. scroll. I just drag just like this, and it makes it really fun to come in here and play. So let's take a look at the arcade option. We can see some games that are available. Um, Synth Writers looks cool. And let's see. Um, we've got Illustrated, Super Fruit Ninja. They've got a, a classic chess game. Cut the Rope 3, that looks fun. Cut the Rope was a classic iOS game. Let's go ahead and download this. So in order to download an application, all you have to do is just look at it and tap. So I just looked at the Git and I tapped it and now it's downloading it. I can look at the actual image here, tap that to learn more about this application. So you've got an adventure in Uncharted Puzzles and it's really neat here. We can come over here, we can play the video really quick. You just tap on the video and you hit play and it starts playing and just like this we can see what this looks like inside of Apple Vision Pro. So you get kind of like a virtual cut the rope world um, and it's in 3D and it has you know various different puzzles that you can solve here. So this is a really cool interface here that we've got for Apple Vision Pro and screenshots look incredible because you get to see them in mixed reality. So that's how you download a game right here inside of Vision Pro, and when it's complete, it'll be available on your home screen. We can look back up. On the side here is how you look at most of things in Vision Pro's for menus. They'll be on the side. If I look away from them, you see the menu disappears. But if I look at the menu, you can see it pops up. You've got apps and games, arcades, arcade, and search. So let's go ahead and look at apps and games one more time. We can sit here, we can scroll through, we can look at all the various different apps and games that are on here. Um, you know, explore iPad and iPhone favorites. 
Um, you can shop like never before. That sounds like something I would love to do. So you've got Walmart, Instacart, Walgreens. You've got all these lovely iPad apps that are designed for iPad that work flawlessly right here in Vision Pro. So you can go back and see all the various different apps that they have right here inside of the App Store on Vision Pro. So it makes it really fun to come in here and check out your favorite apps, download them on your Vision Pro, and um, you know play with them on as soon as you get them. So in order to exit an application, you just look down and you see the X on the circle that's next to the rectangle line here. And you just tap that and it exits the app just like that. And now I can press the digital crown button and bring my apps right back up. Let's take a look at the Apple TV app. Now I can't demo any of this, uh, I can't show you any of the Apple TV applications uh, due to copyright issues, but it is really cool that you can uh, check out some of the really cool features inside the Apple TV app. So if you tap on it, it allows you to come over here and um, let's try this one more time. We'll tap on Apple TV and Apple TV pops open just like this. So if you remember, you look over to the left and all of your menus are right here. Now, if you want to bring this closer, we can. I can look down at this menu bar. I can tap it and drag it closer to me. So now I can see this right in front of my eyes and it's really massive. So I just look over here to the corner and I can see all of the various different, you know, menu options that they have. So all the menu options lie on the left side of the screen inside of Apple Vision Pro. That's just how the design language works. There's no menu bar at the very bottom. Everything lies right here on the left. I'm a big sports guy, so I'm going to tap on the sports option and see what's cooking up right now for sports. I can see Duke, and they're currently winning against Florida State. Um, it's really cool. I can see some hockey that's going on right now. So I can scroll down, see all the latest sports content, live basketball. You can see UNC's winning 255-41, and I'm right here in Vision Pro. I'm checking out all the latest sports updates using the Apple TV app inside of Vision Pro. Of course, you can watch you know, your content. You can go to Apple TV Plus, watch all of your favorite movies, all of your favorite Apple TV shows just like this. You've got Ted Lasso, you've got The Family Plan, you've got all these great movies and TV shows right here. You can just drag, uh, you can use your hand, drag left and right just like this in order to navigate. You can tap just like that in order to access something. I can resume an episode right here of Ted Lasso. So really cool options that we have right here for the Apple Vision Pro inside of Apple TV. Now, I've opened up the App Store and the Apple TV app, but I've closed both of them. I'm going to show you how you can position them around the room and have both of them open at the same time. So I'm just going to press the digital crown button one time, and then I'm going to look at Apple TV, and I'm going to tap to, oop, it slid to the right, and let's go ahead and tap one time. It opens up Apple TV right here on the wall. Now, if I want to open up a different app right here on the left side, like the App Store, all I have to do is just press the digital crown button, and now I'll look at the App Store, and I can tap it, and it will open up the App Store. Now, it remembers that it was on this wall before, so it put it right back on this wall. But all I have to do is just click and drag in the bottom bar and reposition it and put it on this wall. Now I have the App Store on the left side, and on the right side, I've got Apple TV+. Plus. Really cool options right here. Now I can use both of them at the same time. I can look over to the App Store and then look over to the Apple TV Plus app. So that this is multitasking inside of um, your Apple Vision Pro. You can have multiple apps open almost anywhere on top of each other, all around the house. And these are just two, but you can have three, four, five, six, seven. We can put Apple TV Plus right here. We can put the App Store on the ceiling and then open up Disney Plus. So now we got Apple. Uh, the app store on the ceiling. I can just look. I can open my digital crown button right here to access the home screen. I can swat, swipe over here. Let's go ahead and open up Disney Plus. And now Disney Plus is over here on the wall. I can drag it down just like this. Now again, due to copyright info, I, can, I cannot share with you any of the Disney Plus movies, but I can share one thing that is really cool inside of Disney Plus, and it's the environment. So you can see I've got Disney Plus on this wall, Apple TV on the very top, uh, or no, Apple TV on the right, and then the App Store on the very top. So I've got three windows open right here inside of the living room, and I can multitask, use all of them at the same time, and they are really cool. Now, inside of Disney Plus, if I look at the menu bar right over here to the left, I'm going to drag this closer so you can get a very good look at it. So inside of here, 
we got the sidebar for Disney Plus. If we go down to the environment section, which is at the very bottom, they have some really creative environments here. They've got Adventures Tower, the Scare Floor, Star Wars, and the Disney Plus Theater. I'm only going to show you one of these today, my favorite, the Adventures Tower, but when you tap on this and you insert yourself into a brand new surrounding, it is incredible. So stay aware because this is going to be super immersive, you won't be able to see anything, and it says that you can double click the digital crown button at any time. To see the best AI tools and apps, go to appfind.ai for a full list of hundreds of tools. Also, subscribe to our weekly newsletter using the link in the description at appfind.ai slash newsletter to get a weekly email update of the best AI tools in your inbox. And make sure to sign up for other recommended newsletters as well. That way, you can always stay up to date with the latest AI tools in tech. To show your space. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And now it's going to teleport me right here inside of Adventures Tower. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit OK. And now I'm inside of Avengers Tower and I can watch my favorite Disney Plus show right here on my movie inside of Avengers Tower. And I can use the digital crown here to immerse myself further into it. So if I want to cover up the, uh, the rest of the room here, I can just do that by twisting the digital crown to the right. And now I see, you know, all of Avengers Tower right here inside look at all those suits oh my gosh my favorite iron man suits um right here inside of the Avengers tower i'm sitting in my chair i've got you know my food and i've got my apple um you know vision pro on experiencing all of the greatest disney shows inside of the Avengers tower and i'm fully surrounded and this looks incredible it feels like i'm in disney world right now you've got to check out this feature when you get your apple tv or when you get your apple vision pro and, it, and you install Saw Disney Plus. This is so sick that you can watch in, uh, a Disney Plus show inside of an environment that's based off the show itself. So all you have to do is just go over to your environment and you can go over to Scare Floor or the Disney Plus Theater or another one and it makes it really cool. Now in order to exit out of this, all you have to do is just twist your, your digital crown to the left some and you'll see that uh, you'll be presented back with your surroundings. I can sit back in my normal chair and I can see that Disney Plus is still right here on the wall and um, it's really cool. So let's go ahead and exit out Disney Plus. We'll just do that and I'll present it back with um, you know, my normal surroundings right here. I can see the couch, I can see both walls. I wanna go ahead and press the digital crown button one more time. And now my apps pop open and I can see other things right here inside of um, my Vision OS. So I can swipe over to see other apps. Let's take a look over on the left corner here. So you've got people that will be able to detect your FaceTime contacts, people that you can message, and then you've got environments. But over here, we've got all of the various different applications. They're organized by alphabetically, so there's no way to move apps right now. You can't move them around left or right um, and position them to wherever you want, but they have to be in alphabetical order right now. So that's one interesting fact about Vision Pro. So you can't customize them completely. Let's take a look at the TikTok application just released for Apple Vision Pro. All you have to do to open it is just look at the application once you've downloaded it and tap your fingers together and it will open up just like this. Now this has been completely reimagined for spatial computing and here you can just press the play button by tapping your fingers together and it starts playing just like this. So here we are. One thing that's interesting about this is, you, is you've got all of your options right here on the right. You can like, you can comment, you can um, bookmark it, you can share it. If you want to look at the next video, you just swipe down just like this, and um, you can see someone doing their makeup. You swipe down. So I'm 36. So all of these different options right here that we have for TikTok as we continue to swipe down. So. Interesting that you can use TikTok right here on your Apple Vision Pro, and it's really cool. The, the One of the you know systems or application companies that have made an application specifically for the Vision Pro, because we know things like YouTube didn't get made, Netflix didn't get made, but you can watch TikTok right here on your Apple Vision Pro. So really cool that they have this as an option. I'm going to go ahead and pin this to the side over here. Let's put it on the ceiling, actually. 
And let's open up some other applications really quick before we uh, review some of the settings within the application. Let's check out Safari. So if we open up Safari, it's all the way over there, um, and then we can bring it down just like this. So inside of Safari, if you want to make a new window, all you have to do is just go up to the top right icon where you see all the windows, you tap it, and then you can go up to the top here, you can make a new tab or a new window. And then we'll select new window, and now I have two Safari windows open just like this. And I can come open up the Apple website just like this, I can drag that over there. You can also drag links out if you want to, um, so you can click, learn more. Uh, and now I've got two Safari windows open at the very same time and I can do some multitasking. I've still got TikTok at the very top just like that. And it's really neat that you can do all this cool multitasking right here with the power of the M2 chip built right into the Apple Vision Pro. And of course with the R1 sensors detecting things for like when you scroll and when you move and when you click and tap things by pressing your index finger and your thumb together. So next up, I want to take a look at some of the settings. So I'm going to bring up Apple Vision Pro right here. And then uh, this is the home screen. I'm going to go over to the settings button and tap that and open it up. And you can see settings is across the room. I'm going to drag it over here. And now I've got it full fledged right here in front of me. So I've got TikTok, Safari windows, and then settings. So inside of Vision Pro, you've got your settings right here that you can access at any time. Now, I want to go through some of these so you can be aware of them. First off, at the top, you've got Wi-Fi mode. So you can detect your Wi-Fi network and turn that on, turn that off, and uh, you see your known networks and other networks that may come across that you want to join. Next up is Bluetooth. You can connect all of your different Bluetooth devices like your headphones and your wireless keyboards and tap in and then be able to use those Bluetooth devices seamlessly with Vision OS. Next up is general. So oh, it went over to apps. Let's see if I can get the eye tracking to go back up to general. There we go. You've got things like your software update, your about, AirDrop, Handoff, Matter. My favorite one in here is Apple Vision Pro Storage. Depending on which model you got, you can come in here and see how much space you've used, what's being taken up by, and you can see applications are taking up a lot of storage right now. Same with system data. You can come in here, you can review downloaded videos and audios to see if you want to remove some things. You can see Black Panther took up eight gigabytes of storage. Avatar took away 24 gigabytes of storage. Little Nas X took up six gigs. Um, and then some TV shows took up a gig or two there. So you can see all your reviewed downloaded videos and audios. This is perfect for space management right here on the Vision Pro. And you can come over here and check out all the different applications. You can offload unused applications. You can see which applications are using the most storage. Disney Plus is right now. The Maze VR concert is. The Maze VR concert, you've got to check it out. I can't share it with you due to copyright issues, but uh, it allows you to see, you know, virtual concerts right here inside of virtual reality. And T-Pain had an incredible concert. I got to see him right in front of me as he performed his favorite songs, and that was really dope. So photos, maps, TV, I can see all the breakdown right here of Apple Vision Pro storage on my device. I can hit the back button, I can see anything else that I want to, like date, time, keyboard, fonts, dictionary, VPN, device management, remote devices. I can transfer or reset this Apple Vision Pro and shut down. We've got things like applications. So I can see all the various different application um, settings in here. Now this is different from how it is on the iPhone. On the iPhone, they're not necessarily embedded within the apps category, they're just literally inside of settings. So things uh, as simple as your calendar, if you want to come in here and add other uh, accounts for your calendar, you'll have to go into the app settings right here, tap on it, and then you can access all your various different accounts right here inside of Apple Vision Pro. So a little bit of a design change right here from using an iOS device, you have to go to the apps category and then you can access your app settings versus all of the applications being right there on your settings screen when you first load them. Next up is people. I'm going to um, really be excited about how people works because you can connect all of your accounts, all your different contacts, and they show up right there on your home screen. You've got environments next up. You can adjust the volume of the ambient sounds in environments and see how the appearance automatically adjusts the environment appearance based off your time or day and choose to fall. 
So next up, we've got things like notifications. We can allow which notifications to come in, which notifications we don't want to come in. We've got sound. We can have our ring and alerts and personalized spatial audio on. We've got our focus modes. You can detect which ones you want to set up for your focus modes. To detect who can contact you, which apps can interrupt your focus mode and say, you know, a notification can be delivered in. You've got things like screen time, you can block content and privacy restrictions, and you can share across device. So really cool for screen time. Next up is FaceTime and Persona. I'm not going to open up FaceTime, but I am going to show you my Persona. So I can come in here and uh, it loads up the Persona, and it makes it really fun to come in here and, hey, this is me. This is my Persona. Um, you saw earlier in the video as I scanned in my Persona. So when I use FaceTime or use my camera uh, inside of Vision Pro, this is what people see. If I close my eyes, my eyes are closed. It notices it within the Vision Pro, and it closes them on my Persona. I can open my eyes here. I can blink one. I can blink the other. And it makes it really cool that I can come in here, and it detects all my face movements including my tongue uh, I can stick my tongue out and you can see that right here on the Apple Vision Pro persona uh, really cool options that they've got so it's in beta it's gonna get better over time and of course as you scan this in the first time it may not look the best um, I know when I scanned my end the first time I was like whoa I look angry but it really exaggerates the eye motions so if I like just blank stare like it looks like I'm just staring at you like I'm, you know um, so I really have to, you know, make some kind of smile or some kind of gesture. You can see my hands come in here a little bit. Um, so I have to be very careful with the persona because sometimes it can be a little creepy. And then other times it's like, I think after some time, maybe a year or two after they make this out of beta, it'll look cooler. But this is how you use your persona inside of Vision Pro. You just open up the FaceTime application or you open up an app in Safari or another application like Zoom or WebEx that uses the camera and your persona will be presented. And you'll be able to, you know, you know, say hello inside of this 3D virtual environment. You can come in here, you can edit details like your face, like I have glasses on and more. You can recapture it, you can delete it. You've got eyes and hand setting, um, so we can tap on that. We can redo the eye setup, redo hand setups. We've got hand input from both hands. We've got my optical inserts in and more information like look to dictate. You've got people awareness settings, so you can come in here, you can show people through. Right now it just only shows them through environments, but you can also enable them for everything or immersive apps. And you've got things like eyesight that are currently enabled so your eyes are shown when people are in the building with you. You've got accessibility settings like voiceover, zoom, display, text size, motion, spoken content, audio descriptions, eye input, physical and motor, hearing, in general so they really designed this with accessibility in mind so you can use your um, accessibility settings and no matter what your disability is vision pro can work around them based off these accessibility settings to work best for your case and i think this is really great that apple you know focuses heavily on accessibility and they implement it into every product that they create we took a look at control center we can add some more controls to it like accessibility shortcuts Airdrop, I'm gonna go ahead and add airdrop to that. Guided access, hearing, sound recognition, text size, and more. So we've got search Siri and search. They've got privacy and security. They've got battery percentage, display, storage. Um, we saw storage earlier inside of Apple Vision Pro. And then optic ID and passcode. We've got passwords, I'm gonna um, opt out of that one. And then, of course, I'll have to enter my passport in order to see Optic ID. And then we'll go over to Game Center and then TV Provider and more and Wallet and Apple Pay. So those are all of your settings right here inside of the Apple Vision Pro. You can go into them at any time um, to check any of them out. Want to promote your business in front of tech enthusiasts? You can sponsor AppFind to get a shout out on a video or even your own dedicated video. To learn more, see our rate card and request a sponsorship. You can click our link in the description to Passion Fruit to learn more and inquire about a sponsorship. But this has been a complete beginner's guide of the Apple Vision Pro, where we deal detail things like how to download applications, how to navigate and use your Apple Vision Pro, all the different settings, having multiple windows open at the same time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and let us know what your favorite Apple Vision Pro 
Oak feature is in the comments below. We enjoyed making this video for you and we can't wait to make the next one and be sure to smash that subscribe button if you're not subscribed so you can be notified when we release that next video. This has been a complete beginner's guide of the Apple Vision Pro and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.